If you're playing season 13 right now, it's likely that you want to improve. Split and improvement recess. goes a whole lot further than just spending hours crypto. in the firing range, days or recess. weeks in aim trainers, and even Duck. months in actual game time. I can promise you that there's more to it. If you want to be the person in your friends with a 4k damage badge, a 20 kill badge, or even skyrocket to the lowest ranks of your friends to the highest rank that they have ever even achieved, or maybe you have no friends with these badges, and you want them for yourself. And without a shadow of a doubt, I know for sure that if you apply this regularly, it will lead to 100% and quick improvement in Apex Legends. From here on out, I want you to abandon all fear of dying in a game, being dropped, being fried, being shot at. Abandon all fear of it and stop playing back so passively. Sure, playing this way is the way to win, especially in the ranked game and the current season changes. But if you want to improve and you really want some solid improvement in your game, you need to start playing with full aggression. And when I say full aggression, I don't mean just shooting at one extra person every now and then. I mean as soon as you start the game, you drop hot. You grab any gun and your sole purpose is to take as many people down as you possibly can before they take you back to the lobby with them. I can promise you that you will be dropped from these games like an awkward conversation, but that's not important. You drop to take people with you. I want you to hit the ground and pick up any gun that you find, whether it's the worst gun that you possibly can pick up in the entire game. I don't care if it's a gun that you don't even know how to use. Pick it up and put it to work. Don't do this and expect that you are skilled enough to drop and completely clear out hot drop. That is not going to be possible, at least not right now. Don't drop and expect that you will drop 10 people. Don't drop and expect that you will drop five. At least drop and take out three people. Take three people with you back to the lobby. No matter what you have to do, pick up the gun and go crazy. This is a mindset that both pros and average Joes can use at their leisure and it's highly spoken of. And if you do not believe me, why don't we hear it from someone else? I don't think I really got good at the game until I started pushing shit. We were playing like real scared. I think that like honestly the best way to get better at the game is to play aggressive. Very aggressive. Because you're playing the game, you're really trying to push your pace. You're trying to push yourself. Like you're trying to loot fast, you're trying to keep fighting and swapping and fighting and swapping and changing guns and getting ammo and going and going and going. And when you get comfortable and you play in your comfort zone, you're not pushing your pace and you're playing slow, and you're playing positional. That is the way to play to win, but you're not really getting any better. And I didn't see that until like I kind of went through it in my own way. You can watch 40 guides in 40 days and that's not going to do anything to help you unless your mind is in the right place. But that's all right. Because everyone subscribed to me right now is all Apex studs. You all take names without an explanation. You drop banners. You retrieve banners in impossible situations. And you walk around with hundreds of death boxes in your path. The next time you find yourself on Apex, whether you're playing alone or with your friends, let them know we're dropping hot and we're putting in some work. And while they're wet palming their controller and turning the armpits of their t-shirt colors while they're clutching a 1v3, just remember... They'll be thanking you later.